What's up everybody? If you're here, then you probably already know the amazing benefits of sulforaphane from broccoli sprouts. So I don't have to convince you to eat broccoli sprouts. I'm here to show you what I've found for me is the easiest way to sprout them. I used to do this method and it worked pretty badly for me. So I switched to this method, which is the mason jar method, and it works pretty much perfectly. And it's super easy, super easy. I used to use another brand of seeds that didn't work out that well. It seems like about half of them didn't even sprout. They may have been old or I don't know. But I like this brand called Handy Pantry Sprouting Seeds, organic. And I'm pretty sure I got these on Amazon. I like to do it in, in five days. Although today I call it day zero. All right, so what I'm going to do is put the seeds in the jars and just soak them overnight and tomorrow morning will be day one. I hope it's not too confusing. So, it's so easy you almost don't have to measure. You can just take two teaspoons, I mean tablespoons, just like that, one in each. And probably the most difficult thing is just not spilling the seeds. And the next thing I'll do is just kind of fill it about halfway up with water. And then I will just put them in the pantry where it's dark and let them soak overnight. And then tomorrow morning will be day one and then we'll go from there. So let me fill these up with water and I'll be right back. If you're curious, this is for filtered water. Okay, two last things. Um, I bought these mason jars at Target. They're made by Ball and unfortunately you've got to buy a whole case of them. So I bought like, I don't know, 12 or 16 for about 10 bucks or less. And then I bought these lids that are stainless steel lids on Amazon. And so this way you, you know, once you screw the lid on, it's real easy to just pour the water right out and it works quickly and it works great. So. That is the end of day zero. I will put these in the pantry. Put them in a dark place and I will get them out tomorrow morning. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Peace out. All right guys, it's the morning and there's just a small percentage of seeds floating, so that's good. And if you look at the seeds closer, you can see some of them uh, appear to be opening up a little bit, so that's a good sign too. So the first thing I wanna do is basically dump all the water out, then rinse them a couple times, and then dump all the water out. So come on over here and I'll show you. So this is one of the biggest things that I love about these lids, is that you can just pour the water out so easily. Just like that. I'm trying to get a little bit more out. I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna, I'm going to rinse it a couple times. And on this time, I'm gonna try to get out as much water as possible. I try to get as much of the water out as I can because if, there's, if the seeds are too wet, then it seems like the seeds start to rot. And one thing also is you don't want to leave the seeds clumped up. So I just try to kind of keep them separated around the bottle as best as I can. And then when I set these out to dry, I actually use these green things, but you could use like a glass bowl or something. And I angle them so still the water can kind of drip out. All right, let's go do the other one. All right guys, if you haven't noticed, this is what my wife got for Halloween from Trader Joe's. A little skeleton doing yoga with a living plant in it and a skeleton couple that says love never dies. This is my wife and me.
All right, guys, I keep them in the pantry. I believe you're supposed to keep them kind of dark until like the fourth day. So, I mean, it's not dark all the time in here when we open the door, the light comes on, but otherwise than that, it stays dark in here. And I just leave them like that. And what I ended up doing is um, twice a day, I will uh, add water and then dump it out. So this is the morning of day one. And this evening, I will come add water and then dump it out. Okay, see, the light's going to turn off. And we'll keep them dark. And I will be back this evening to add water and dump it out and show you how the seeds are progressing. Love never dies. All right, guys, it's day one in the evening. You can see that the seeds have, are pretty dry and they've kind of stuck to the side of the jar. So now we just gotta um, add water and then drain it again. So let's go. And see how it is, guys. And we just basically dump it out. And again, I try to get the seeds along the walls and not like just in one spot to kind of spread the seeds out. And next, we'll just do the other one. And so hopefully you guys will see that. I mean, this is just easy. I mean, this is day one. I've got to do this for four more days and that's about it. So let me put this back and then we'll be back for tomorrow morning and hopefully you'll see a little more growth from these seeds. All right guys, it's the morning of day two and you can see the seeds are starting to sprout nicely. And again, it's just our simple little add water and dump it out, so come on. And actually, you can see the sprouts a little better. And again, I try to separate the seeds around the glass so they're not all clumped together. And that's one. And that's it. I mean, this is very simple, very easy, and it doesn't take that much time. So there's no reason that you can't do this. All right, guys, it's the end of day two, and these seeds are really starting to sprout nicely. You can see the sprouts, and you can also see some very thin little white strands, kind of almost looks like hair, and I believe what that is is little roots trying to grow. So what we need to do is just continue adding water and dump it out. So let's go. Okay, here's what it looks like now. Okay guys, that's the end of day two. Um, we've got three more days to go. And on day five, I'll explain to you why you only should be doing it for five days. All right, I'll see you tomorrow morning, bye. Mika, do you want some broccoli? She doesn't like vegetables. She's a meat eater, guys. She likes meat, don't you Mika? See this? That's what she does to meat. She eats it all the way to the bone. Don't you, Mika? All right, guys, it's the morning of day three, and these are looking really good. They're starting to sprout bigger and bigger, and they look a little yellow, but that is okay. That is normal, because I'm keeping them dark in the pantry. On day four, I'll start to take them out and let them get a little more sunlight. And one thing I've also learned is that whenever you consume your broccoli sprouts and or any other antioxidant, do not consume them with dairy products because casein inside of dairy products binds to the um, antioxidant and or, and or sulforaphane and it, does, and it doesn't allow your body to um, absorb it. So 
For example, if you're gonna make a shake with this, then make it with almond milk or water. Don't make it with milk. And that's it, guys. That's, it's just that easy. And I'll be back this evening and we'll see what they look like. All right, guys, it's the end of day three and the sprouts are getting bigger and they're looking really good. There's not much to say. I mean, these are looking good. They're progressing just as they should. So let's put some water in them and um, put them away. And then I'll put them away and then tomorrow I will put them out where they can get some sunlight and help them turn green. All right, guys, it is the morning of day four and these are looking amazing. I mean, they're almost filling up the entire jar and they're starting to green a little bit. I think these done really well this time because I've been on time watering these for the video. A lot of times I'll kind of like almost forget about them and water them out like late or, you know, really early or late or whatever. And I'm not exactly consistent with the watering times as I probably should be like every, you know, like say every morning at nine and every evening at nine, kind of like that 12 hour distance. I'll you know, forget and water them at 12 or 11 at night. So that's something to think about. All right, so let's water these and then we're gonna take them out of the pantry and put them out in the room. And so hopefully they'll catch a little more sunlight and start to turn green. It's amazing that it only needs this amount of water to get it to grow. Okay guys, so I'm going to put the broccoli seeds over here. So I moved them out here. There's a window there, there's windows there, there's windows back there. So I would say it's an indirect sunlight and this will help these um, sprouts green up a little bit and I think actually even grow a little bit quicker. And then tomorrow on day five, I'll put them right in the window. And um, the windows have shutters so it will still be I would say not complete direct sunlight, but more light than you've got here. So that's about it. I'll see you this evening. Bye. All right, guys, it's the end of day four and it's really late. I'm late on watering these. Uh, it's almost one in the morning. And, um, but at least I'm gonna water them now and it's better than never. So my wife has actually gone to bed, so I'm just gonna water these and dump them out. You've seen that for the last four days and then um, I will be back tomorrow. All right guys, it's day five and these are looking fantastic. They've greened up some. The jars are almost full. They're turning out basically almost perfect. So I will add some water, drain them again, and then put them up in the window. And then later today, we will um, take them out and separate them and put them in little bags to freeze them. All right, so let's go. Just like that, guys. Just like that. All right, see you back this afternoon. Ciao. It's day five in the evening and they look perfect. All right, guys, so first we're putting them in a giant bowl. That was easy. Okay, next we'll rinse them off and wash them. Try to separate the seeds from the sprouts. And as you can see, most of the seeds will just float to the top. And then you can just take a strainer and strain out the seeds like this. You're never gonna get all of them, but the more the better. If you haven't noticed yet, we've got um, the regular sink water and then we've got filtered water. So we wash them with the filtered water. And also I was always adding water from the filtered water each time too. rinsing and, and to get rid of the seeds and to wash the sprouts and we have a strainer there in case we lose some we can still catch them. So as she took out the sprouts you can see that there's also seeds at the bottom. All right see it's clean and now we're going to rinse them again.
And there we have it. All right, my wife likes to wash everything and put it away. She doesn't like to leave anything out. So this will all be washed and it's ready for the next batch of seeds. Okay guys, so this was just four tablespoons of seeds and this is what we got. So now we're gonna divide it into five bags for five days. As I mentioned earlier, research was done on broccoli sprouts and after five days, the amount of sulforaphane in the broccoli sprouts significantly decreases. But if you freeze them, you'll have five extra days. So that's what we're doing. Um, separate them into five bags. We'll put four of them in the freezer and we'll use one today. So now that I have five days to eat these, I start a new batch and when the five days is up, the next batch will be ready. Also what I learned is when you freeze them, you ultimately get even more sulforaphane from the sprouts. The sprouts are delicious. You can put them in salads and after today, once they're frozen, they're easily put in uh, protein shakes or shakes or whatever. All right guys, so we've got our five bags here. They're ready for the freezer. And I got a little bit left just for me. And as I said, they're delicious just like that. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and share this with your friends. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Be happy guys, peace out.